Washington Commanders. Two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Looking to start with a pass. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, this defense for the Commanders, it's much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. And I think our statistician, we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury from having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope they'll recover. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Yeah, Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. But so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive in this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. That if you're going to run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get... Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. It's Kareem Jackson making the play defensively. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Donald Snow here, hauled in by Cup. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Well, whatever script they put together for this offensive drive, Charles, seems to be working. I'm curious to see if this defense will make any adjustments here. Things certainly going according to plan, aren't they? I mean, the way they're advancing the football, it's like they're on the practice field having one of their better days. But instead, it's game day, and they're moving the ball downfield with purpose. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Darnold. And his throw is incomplete. 
It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for Darnold. He's got his tight end fire mute over the middle. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Darnold. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Cooper Cup, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They run it again with Cook. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Jameis to throw it. And this one is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now to throw on first down. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Cook will take this one in. Touchdown, Washington. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. No return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
Well, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. A play fake, and it's Darnold. Going up top for Cup. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. On fourth down, Darnold. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Well, they picked up the first down, but I'm just going to say I didn't like it before the ball was snapped, and I don't like it now that they picked it up. Think about field position on their own side of the 50. They don't get it. They put their defense in a bad spot. And it's just not a decision that pays off very often. Well, it wasn't fourth and a yard. There was there was some meat on that bone. There really was. Fortunate to get it in that situation, but not a call I would make very often. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They keep on the ground with Elliott. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, what a first half he's had running the football. Another terrific run there, and this one finds the end zone. Well, we know he's a guy who's capable of coming up with big plays in the running game, and his offensive line knows it as well. That keeps them motivated, looking for those extra blocks to give him room to run downfield. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up and now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? This game I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Rocky Asin there to make the tackle. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On play action, Winston out to his left. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, 
I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Winston to throw for it on four. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. I remember pregame when we were talking to him on the field, and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there, <laughs> and now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him. But that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been you didn't slide man face for me. Medium skin tone. Way up, not that time. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Darnold. He'll get this to Elliott. And he's only able to get it up to about the two-yard line. Now the Commanders going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. From the end zone, here's Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. The Eagles send out their punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. With it is Brown. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Final play of the half here, Winston. Throwing the out route incomplete, it's Howard. So we've reached halftime here and it's our visitors, the Eagles leading this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both teams currently making their final adjustments. We're getting ready for the second half. So we'll send it back up to FedEx Field and hand things back over to Brandon Gott. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Ready. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. 
But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. On second down, Cook. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Third and short yardage, Winston. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And he's going to have a commander's first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Jameis now on first down. And that one, and the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery, everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Elliott. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, double exclamation mark. Second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Again, it's Elliott, and this time he'll get in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Flush to his right, incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. Throwing again on second and ten. Winston. That would caught downfield by Howard. 20, 10. Touchdown, Washington. O.J. Howard, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Commanders are back within a score. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this is back to a five-point game. Face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, double exclamation mark. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now we'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Darnold now to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's third and four now. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Play action. It's Darnold. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Darnold to throw again. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. And that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise there in the dime. Now it's Darnold. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw, Darnold. That'll be caught. It's come. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they certainly. Face with tears of joy. Face with tears of joy. Face with tears of joy. Again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this you're watching the nfl on ea sports from down at the 12 it's first and 10 draw play elliott and he's going to work this one down to about the five. And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? 
tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and a back three to go. Now, obviously, that's a good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Three hyphen three. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive. Two for two. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. And his kick here is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They run again on first down, Cook. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. It appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Second and five now. Winston. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. The first down throw for Winston. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, one-on-one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield. After the catch, when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those, too. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. Touchdown. Washington. O.J. Howard with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Commanders have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Winston to throw for it. And that'll be incomplete. And a failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. Uh, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. A wall of bodies there. Nowhere to burrow through the line on the quarterback sneak. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 45 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Hey, Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Winston. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And the question now, how do you to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. And they will take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. A little unconventional, but another kneel down here as they work towards a field goal try. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game.
So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now Jason Sanders for the field goal try. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is right there. It's good, and it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I'm trying to figure out how they remain so calm in these situations and then go out and execute because I'm up here shaking like a leaf and I wasn't the one who had to make that kick. They look calm, but I bet if you had a heart rate monitor on it, <laughs> it'd be up in the 300s right now. <laughs> the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. One last throw now for Darnold. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play to officially decide a winner, although on that last play, they were so backed up.